Michael, enabling others to act is uh, critical for leadership because, first of all, it uh, gives you leverage. It gives the organisation leverage as well. As a leader in any organisation, you can only do so much yourself. Uh, you're one person. Uh, but most organisations are made up of more than one person. If you enable those people to act, uh, they then can be inspired to do the work that they need to do and the organisation gets great leverage. People want to be empowered, they want to be trusted to make the right decisions, to be given uh, enough scope for them to develop themselves. So as a leader, rather than come into a room and put your view on the table, that can actually quash innovation and development, uh, you pose the question and you sit back and you let uh, the people uh, in your group, you let the people in your business develop their own, le their own answers to those questions. So it's this development empowering them to come up with the answers and indeed probably the best leader I ever worked for. And I was a youngster in the career and I went to him with a problem and he said to me, what's your answer? I could have crawled into the corner and thought, my God, I don't have an answer. And I vowed from that day on to never go to see him without an answer. So by him just doing that something, something simple to me in a very constructive way, he enabled me to always then from that day on think, every time I have a problem, what would I do? What's your view on how important that is also as a leadership function to create, create cross-collaboration? It gives the organisation the right leverage to be able to effectively answer problems that if it was just left to individual silos, they couldn't, they couldn't answer in the most efficient way. The method uh, around which you go about creating cross-team collaboration, it's, I think the, most, the key element here is engagement. You've got to be able to reach out and talk to your peers, talk to your boss, talk to your peers' reports. So reach up and down through the organisation and develop those relationships. Most of us respond positively if someone reaches out.